In this tutorial, we are creating this sticky footer at the bottom. When we scroll down, it follows us all the way down the page. That's what we're creating in this tutorial. This is going to be applied to this page only because it's not a template. If you want this as a template file, that's a different tutorial in this playlist. I encourage you to check that out. If you want it as a template that appears on all pages on your site, this one will just be on pages that you specify where you explicitly make this section and make it sticky. And this video is part of the elementary skills playlist on this channel. It's linked to in the description down below. If you want to up your elementary skills, make sure you check out that playlist. And if you have any questions or comments about this video, please leave them down below as well. I try to answer them the best I can. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. We will help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your customers, and for your business. And if you haven't done so yet, click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss new future videos. Now let's get started. To add a sticky footer, you want to go down to the very bottom of the page and add the sticky footer there as a new section. We're not going to do this as a template in this example. You can do this as a template as well. That'll be for a different tutorial. And that template would appear on every page on your site as the footer. We're just going to do this for this one page. And to do that, Let's add a new section. You can choose any structure you want. I'm going to add a button and I'm going to change this to check out our deals. Have a little call to action down there. Make sure it stands out. So change the text color to white and the background color to bluey purple. That stands out. We want to add a background color as well because it's going to be hovering over everything. We want to make sure that we have a defining edge. So we're going to go to the section and go to style, background type, color. I'll make it black because that's the theme of the website. And now we're ready to make this sticky. First, I'll show you what happens when it's not sticky. It just disappears. It's just at the bottom of the page, just like a regular old section. To make it sticky, click on the six dots to edit the section, go to advanced, go to motion effects, go to sticky, and choose bottom. And this is only available with Elementor Pro the sticky options. Unless you have a third party plugin that can do it, which you might, but if you don't, then Elementor Pro is required. And now when I scroll, we see the footer stays at the very bottom of the page. And when someone comes to this page for the first time, the page will load right up here, and they're gonna have the footer down at the very bottom, and it's gonna follow them down all the way. You also wanna make sure you check on tablet to make sure it's in the right spot, and that's a good spot because it's centered, so it should work on all of them out of the box. Mobile phone still works right there. And that's how we can add a sticky footer on a single page. The process is the exact same for a sticky footer as a template file, so it appears all over your site. It's just that you'd be doing it inside of a template rather than inside of a page like this. And I've got a separate tutorial in this playlist to show you how to do that if that's what you want. This Elementor video is part of my Elementor skills playlist where we cover lots of the basics in Elementor to help you get up and running with Elementor as fast as possible. If you want to check out that playlist, it's a link to in the description down below and probably in a card up above somewhere during this video. So check out that playlist if you want to level up your Elementor skills. And if you don't have Elementor Pro yet, click the link in the description down below to get yourself a copy. It is an affiliate link, so if you buy through that link, I do get a commission. And it does not make it more expensive for you. It's just that Elementor shares that referral income with me. And that's what helps me keep making these videos for free and putting them up on YouTube so you can get better at WordPress and Elementor. So if you buy through that link down below, I really appreciate it. And next up, check out the Elementor Skills playlist right here, which I referenced throughout this video. If you watch those videos, your elementary skills will be increased. So if you want to get better, watch that playlist. And if you haven't done so yet, click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss new future videos. My name is Bjorn Alpass from WP Learning Lab. Till next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.